Hey friends, and welcome to a brand new video. It is your creative, creepy, weird makeup artist friend Kazkesh to bring you something that will be good for the holidays that's my favorite. You can subscribe to this channel if you want to see more beauty makeups, effects videos, body paintings, character makeups, celebrity transformations. We do Halloween year round here while talking about creepy, history, stories, creative makeup tips. Every Monday and Friday there will be a new video, so subscribe for some more. So today I want to talk about my recent favorite makeup products or just ones that I love that I'd be thinking that it would make great Christmas gifts. We'll have some stuff on a budget, we'll have some stuff that's just amazing. While doing my makeup using some of these products today, we are going to do a makeup that is natural. Well not natural, but more toned down for my channel. I usually like to do bright eye makeup looks whenever I do beauty makeup, but today we're going to do more simpler colors at least because I really want to use this Essential Palette Collection by Sigma Cosmetics that's in collaboration with Stephanie Lang. It's $48 for retail right now, but it is just so beautiful. You get a huge mirror, you get two bronzers, highlighter, and nine eyeshadow colors, so I want to use this. I've already prepped and primed my skin with moisturizer and the e.l.f poreless putty primer and I'm going to start off with my favorite foundation this year has been the wet n wild photo focus they have a new dewy collection and their regular collection is great it smells a little bit like paint but the coverage on this stuff is amazing like my boyfriend does not give a hoot about makeup he does not know anything about makeup or really care but every single time he helps me focus my cameras we take a picture together or he sees me in this makeup, he cannot believe how smooth my skin looks with this makeup. And you know, guys don't even notice when I change artwork in the house, you know, but for some reason he notices this. And like I said, they also have a regular one that isn't dewy and it smells a little odd, but it works so great and the smell goes away. And it's just worth it because it's so beautiful. Although, I don't want it to have a strong fragrance, although the fragrance it does have is weird, but it's so good. And if you want something lighter coverage, because this is like medium coverage, it could build up, I think, to full. If you want something lighter coverage, Wet n Wild also has my all-time favorite BB cream, and it's their BB Cushion. Now, I want to tell you a warning that the shade range on that BB Cushion is absolute trash. Like, they do not have enough shades at all, but it's so pretty and it's a dupe to the Dior Air Flash, so I had to mention it since it's so affordable compared to Dior. Now that I'm thinking about it, let me look at the shade range of this. And the shade range on this is a little bit better than the BB cream that they offer, but I feel like they could still do even better. A lot of these products I'm sure you're gonna hear me talk about I've talked about in various videos this year, but we're just doing a recap on things that I feel like would be great for holiday gifts. I know it's really hard to buy someone foundation for a holiday gift, but if you know like their shade range or if you live with them and can grab a little sample of their foundation, I know that sounds creepy, and you know that they would really appreciate trying a new foundation, I think it'd be worth it. Now color corrector, under eye corrector, I would suggest a deep pumpkin tone for darker skin complexions and for medium tone more salmon and for light skin tones a peach. This one is the Charlotte Tilbury Fair 1 under eye correcting cream and you could use this on days when you're not wearing makeup just to correct any under eye dark circles and bags you may have because look at that just like with a swipe of my finger it's amazing this isn't cheap or affordable it's pretty pricey in my opinion for just being a corrector you could use the la girl is a lot more affordable and does a similar thing but this the wear of it looks so natural to me and it's great for all ages it's so pretty i've used it even at the gym i know that sounds crazy I'll make sure to put down the price of everything while I'm talking about it because I'm not going to remember the price of everything. I just know what the products. And this product is gorgeous. This is my all-time favorite drugstore concealer. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. Again, so affordable, blends so nicely. CoverGirl True Blend, I heard their foundation is amazing, I need to try it, but this is just so good. I know people that strictly only use Dior, Givenchy, 
Givenchy. I can't even pronounce some of these designer brands. Armani, Giorgio Armani, they only use those type brand makeups on their face. And I know that they even tried this and like it, that's how good it is. Another one, of course, we have to mention that came out this year is the 16 hour camo concealer. I don't know if this came out this year or the year before, but either way, they did come out this year with a hydrating blend of this, which is amazing. And this is probably one of the best full coverage concealers. This True Blend one's more of a medium. It's so, so good. Now say you wanna invest in some really good foundation that literally looks like skin, that gives money towards great causes and smaller businesses and people of color, I would definitely check out Uma Beauty at Ulta or their website. This was so easy to find my foundation color through their website. It matches me perfectly. It has skincare properties in their foundation. That's probably why it wears so beautifully on my skin. She's medium to full coverage, definitely, but it's just so worth it. And their Stay Woke Concealer matches the colors perfectly. And that's also a medium to full coverage concealer. They're both amazing because they, again, they have those skincare property ingredients in them, which is rare to find in the beauty community. I'm setting my under eyes with this. This is my favorite for character makeups. It's my favorite for beauties. I use these contours because you could mix cool tone, warm tone together to get your perfect contour or bronzer shade. When I want contour, I put more cool tone in. I don't usually use bronzer, but they do have these warmer tones for bronzers because bronzing and contour is two totally different things, two totally different sides of the spectrum. This is a indie brand. It's not super cheap and affordable, but it's totally worth it. It'll last you a long time. They have some blushes in here. I've bought this again and again. It's by Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. It's amazing. I'm sure you've heard me time and time again talk about these. These are the ColourPop blush sticks. These look so great and natural. It made me become a lover of cream blushes again. I just feel like cream blushes look so natural on the skin. Not only that, they blend so well. They look like your skin but better. Blush is such an important step to me in makeup because it really gives life to your skin. It makes you compliment the eyeshadow that you're going to wear, especially for someone as pale as me. It's just such a great touch. And these are super affordable. Again, ColourPop's blush sticks are some of the all-time best. I put a little bit on my nose. The sponge I'm using today is by Sigma. It's one of my all-time favorite dupes to the beauty blender. Another great all-time favorite dupe to the beauty blender is this giant elf sponge. I forgot, I think it's like a full coverage. It's called sponge. It's maroon, it's humongous, and if you have a big face like me, it's great, it's super bouncy. I love it and I would buy more and more. I only have one of them. Mine's dirty right now. My all-time favorite face powder this year is the Danessa Myricks Evolution Powder. Danessa Myricks is such an underrated brand. A lot of the bigger makeup companies or celebrity makeup artists that are turning into production lines of makeup companies supplying makeup, they are copying Danessa Myricks' original formula and duplicating very similar products to hers, but she's the OG on a lot of this stuff. Her makeup work is legendary and beautiful. I have a friend that's met her in person, says she's super nice, which is cool. But this powder feels like there's absolutely nothing on your skin. I am a dry skin person and this doesn't cling to my dry patches too bad. And it just is so lightweight, but does the job. I can't even explain how much I love it. It's probably one of the best powders. Other than that Maybelline Fit Me loose powder that everyone uses, that's amazing. I heard that's more of a finishing powder than a setting powder, but this stuff is great too. But that's if you want a more affordable, get that Maybelline loose fit powder. Danessa Myers though is worth it for the penny that you pay. Now, like I said, I'm using the Essentials palette. I think this retails for $48, we'll see. I'm just putting down some P. Louise eyeshadow base before I start this look. And I'm gonna tell you about other eyeshadow palettes that I think are worth the money that I either discovered this year or that are just so worth it for thinking about giving to people who love makeup for this holiday season. 
So I tried Glam Light for the first time. This Street Taco palette was my first dip into Glam Light and I wanna buy like all of the Glam Light palettes now because this baby was so pigmented, great quality. I like how the glitters in it look like they're those chunky glitters that are scary for the eyes, but they're not. They're not chunky glitters. They just have like a glittery sheen to them. They're not like those extreme chunky shadows that a lot of companies like to do that's actually I feel like not really safe for the eye but this baby is so pigmented such unique bright neon colors I want to buy so many glam light it's a more of a indie brand as well which I love their burger palettes they have such unique palettes they also have like a bakery themed recent collection they're so unique and beautiful and you can really tell that the owner puts her heart into the makeup collections that she does for her brand. Another indie brand that I have to talk about that I discovered was the Makeup A Murder palettes. These eyeshadow palettes, I heard their pigments are great but they're very messy and I want to try those too but these are so easy to blend, so pigmented. I absolutely love anything murder themed podcast, makeup. Everything's murder themed with this brand. I got their crime scene investigation tape for the eyeshadow. I should use that now. I'm gonna do that. Like, look how cute this packaging is. And it came, I got it with that. And you know when you wanna do a little eye look and tape off an edge? Like, now you can show everyone how much you love crime. Like, I don't like murder, but you know, it calms me down to listen to murder documentaries and podcasts. Maybe because the world's in shambles. But the Makeup and Murder brand, she also has like the eyelash boxes come in crime scene little tabs, which is adorable. And her makeup sponges looks like drops of blood. Like, hello? It's like speaking to me. I just used the color Velvet and I'm gonna use the color Dusk for my transition shade. Do people still call this the transition shade? I remember back when makeup tutorials first arrived on YouTube and everyone had a transition color and we all used the NYX Milk Stick for an eyeshadow base instead of Urban Decay's Primer Potion. I feel like you were either Urban Decay Primer Potion girl back then or a NYX Milk Makeup Stick Eyeshadow Base Girl. You are just those two things, nothing in between. Let's go through some more indie eyeshadow makeup brands that you should definitely like think about giving your money and support to because Color Drain is people of color owned. It's so pretty. This is the Vivid's Press Palette and I can guarantee you this is one of the best colorful eyeshadow palettes I've ever invested my money in. It's not only the most pigmented but easiest to blend most beautiful eyeshadow palette I think I've used on my entire face this entire year of 2012. The only thing I loved about 2012 was getting my dog and finding this brand of eyeshadow. Like I know that's over dramatic, but I'm serious like it's so hard to find pigmented and some pastels. I count this color as a pastel. Not chalky. That's really hard to find. Even in 2020, the only other pastel eyeshadow company palette that I really love that I need to re-up on and buy more of because mine is completely dead is Shroud Cosmetics. Creepy Cute Palette. Okay, let's talk about creepy palettes. You know me, I absolutely love anything creepy and cute. That's like my aesthetic. Whimsical Creepy Cuteness. Like you know me, most of you found me through my Disney series of turning princesses into horrific looking strange tail creatures, which I love. And this embodies that, this brand, and it is PG Queen Cosmetics. I, do you hear that? That's the eyelash glue getting stuck to this. I've used this to high heavens. You can see what color I use the most. I've used this for my Morticia looks. This is a great for Halloween looks. I've used this palette on so many videos. This is their spirit board palette and they have large mirrors on them. I don't want to blind you. And they have themed Beetlejuice makeup looks for the Friends TV show makeup palettes, not makeup looks. And I also have the Kush Queen palette. The owner is super sweet and nice. And they're so pigmented, so great. They're easy to work with. The aesthetic of how she designs her palettes. She has this alien palette I really want. And of course I want so many of them. The Beetlejuice one, 
but I just love the detail that these independent brands put into the work of their palettes that are so whimsical and thoughtful like that and she's definitely one of those people that put all of the whimsy thoughts into her designs of palettes. I didn't expect to use so much red and gold which are my two favorite colors in this look. Now if you're looking for some affordable eyeshadow palettes this year, the one that really blew me out of the water, I mean there was a lot of those ColourPop monochrome palettes and I really wanted that Baby Yoda palette, but the one that really blew me out of the water was surprisingly enough was this Retro Paradise Elf palette. Like look how gorgeous this color scheme is. It's giving me fall, summer, and winter all in one. Like this looks like winter, this looks like summer, and this looks like fall, definitely. Like the colors in this, the Sip Sip, Baja Mar, Tropicana, like these three right here are gorgeous. This sea salt color is so gorgeous as a highlighter shade and I was just so blown away by this. I didn't expect e.l.f. to really pull through like this on this specific palette. It was so pretty. This whole collection, their brushes and their lip glosses and stuff was actually really impressive and great. <gasps> we'll be back to our regular scheduled <gasps> programming after I get rid of <gasps> these hiccups. Disgusting. I hate my hiccups. They're so loud and annoying. <gasps> Annoying, I sound like a frog. I'll be back. All right, so we are back finally after an hour without any hiccups now in the video or in my physical well-being body. I get the worst hiccups, don't know why. But some more eyeshadow palettes I have to talk to you about that aren't that affordable but that are amazing, that blew me out of the water, was the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette. Not only does it smell good, but the colors in this are so beautiful and they blended amazingly. I used it in my Lucille Ball makeup look. I've been using it like if I want a more natural makeup look. I feel like if you're into more fall time or natural makeup eyeshadow colors, this would be perfect for you. I like these tins that magnetically close because I feel like they're super sturdy. Another eyeshadow palette that I did not even see coming around the corner, I usually am not a fan either of Urban Decay's eyeshadow palettes, but this stone eyeshadow palette blew me out of the water. Not only the packaging, but the colors inside are so unique. It's so gorgeous. It has a huge mirror. I like the packaging. It's a little bulky for travel, but if you like unique sparkly eyeshadows, it is so worth it if you're into crystals. That's like an eyeshadow palette in crystal form, in my opinion. Definitely gives off of Steven Universe vibes. It's so pretty. I'm doing my brows now just with the usual pomade and stuff, but my absolute favorite brow gel is the Easy Breezy Brow by CoverGirl. It beats every single brow gel I've used high end to mid priced. It is just amazing. They have it in clear and in multiple colors. I feel like they never have ginger brow tones though in any eyeshadow, I mean eyebrow product, which makes me sad. If you want the best highlighter on the market, I would try out Ofra. They have great holiday sets right now and their highlighters are some of my absolute favorite in the business. Like I said, you can get some great eyeshadows with their highlighters in their holiday palettes for a great price for your buck. They're not like this most affordable company ever, but the quality is amazing. Their signature palettes have really cute highlighters in them as well with some eyeshadows. I was actually super impressed this year. It was my first time using their Fix Line Black Eyeliner. It's so creamy. It's so pigmented. This is great for your kit because you could just get a spatula from this pot and put it on a palette and use it. Another product that I was super impressed by this year was the new Urban Decay Lash Freak Mascara. Now, I feel like mascara is one of those things you could get away with just using drugstore mascara, but this Lash Freak Mascara, I'm so surprised how much I love it. It separates the lashes, makes them thicker. It's so pretty. I mean, I'm sure I could find a drugstore dupe for it, but I had it in my hands. The packaging is gorgeous. It reminds me of Beetlejuice. It's so good. Another thing that is totally worth the money to think about getting someone for the holiday season is my favorite type of makeup lately is liquid eyeshadows. 
Elf did one with Jay Kissa that's dual ended with this bright green and a white one. I always love the white glittery ones the most. I use them for highlighter for like my Sugar Plum Fairy look in my last video and like for really out there fantasy makeups. I like using these white ones as highlighter. My all time favorite one as well that I use in that Sugar Plum Fairy video is the Pixie by Petra Fairy Lights. They come in white, blue, so many colors. They have great like champagne tones. They're just gorgeous. They're very pigmented and sticky so that the chunks of glitter won't get in your eye. Just don't rub your eye with them on is my rule of thumb. Cause I get scared of putting chunks of glitter too close to my eyes. But I also love the Pop Beauty it has a very affordable one. Well, they have multiple colors of their flash shadows are some of my all time favorites as well. I think my top favorites are Pop Beauty and Pixie by Petra. I know Stila was one of the first brands to make something like this, but those are so expensive and they dry out. They're like 30 bucks or more or so around that price point. And the Pop Beauty ones are super affordable. I think the Pixie by Petra is like around 20 bucks, but I wouldn't buy the Stila ones. They dry out way too fast. I respect their OG original creators of certain makeup products, but when a dupe is cheaper and better than the original, it's like, it's hard to ignore. I think those eyeshadow glitters, especially if you have a friend that loves glittery stuff, would be such a great stocking stuffer. I've also been loving some of the ColourPop stuff, their Hyaluronic Acid. Again, it's kind of like a foundation, but it's their tinted moisturizer, but it's super, super dewy, so I don't know if it'll work great for oily skin. But I mean, you never know. My favorite highlighter as well is by ColourPop and it's the Flexitarian highlighter. I think I've been talking about it for over three years now, how much I love that highlighter. I use the lashes by Too Faced, the Better in Sex lashes, the Faux Mink. These are in the style Doll Eyes, so pretty. They remind me of an old House of Lash style I used to love. This next product is from NYX Cosmetics. I absolutely love these new holiday collection of lipsticks. There's some glitter, but there's only glitter, like a sheen of it on the outside and in the inside, it's just this plum lipstick. This feels like you're not wearing lipstick. I don't know, it almost feels like a, it's in the color gemstone, but it almost feels like a tinted, like a lip tint. And it's very lightweight and it's super plummy and pretty for the holidays. I like to dab some of it off. And then what I was really blown away by NYX is these beautiful crystal looking lip glosses. This is in the color Left It On Read that we're gonna use now and that's fire. These are so sparkly, it's ridiculous. And they're so pretty. If you love a lot of sparkle in your lip gloss, they're not too sticky at all. These are the lip glosses for you. Again, this is in their holiday collection and it's so beautiful. I might use the other one too on top. Just have extra, extra three dimensional sparkle. Like look how sparkly that is. I have to talk about the Wet n Wild Hello Halo highlighter. This is a highlighter blush topper duo. It says it's a blush, but it's so sparkly. I call it a blush topper. It is so pigmented and spark. Like look at that blinding highlight. This is in the color Highlight Bling, the lightest one, I think. They also have one for that are darker for more deeper skin tones than mine. But this is just bomb. Do a little inner corner highlight. And it's not a catch catch video without some blinding lip highlight, Cupid's bow highlight. And just like that, we're completely done with our makeup and every product that I've tried new out this year that I have been absolutely in love with when it comes to the makeup world. Since I've been in the industry for over seven years now in both beauty and effects videos, these are just my favorite products I discovered this year in makeup that I think would make great holiday gifts. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe for some more videos like this. I do two videos a week every Monday and Friday. Thank you so much for watching creators. All the products that I talked about today will hopefully be listed down below in the description box. Leave me a comment down below on what some makeups I talked about that you actually want to try. I know there's a lot of holiday collections going around right now that are super expensive. Gosh, but that Grinch collection from Kylie Cosmetics looks amazing. I can't wait for that Beetlejuice collection, but who can afford that? So here's some single products and affordable products that I feel like are worth it. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, NYX came out with the Diamonds and Ice, please. 
holiday advent calendar this year and I cannot wait to open it. I think it's around $55, but you get so many makeup products for every day of December. I love some of Nick's products and I just think it's a great fun thing to have if you're thinking about getting someone a gift. But I will see you guys in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.